Hey guys, it's Roy at First Gear Off-Road. Today we're going to take and pull the leaf springs off the front of the truck. They've been sagging a little bit, so we're going to take and uh, pull those things off and have them re so follow along. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a reference point of where we are for the height, so we know what we need to take and raise the truck up to. Okay, then we're going to see how level the truck is and see how much we're going to need to bring this thing up just by eyeballing it here real quick. We're going to leave the level right there. Okay. Then we're going to take and jack up the front of the truck on the frame or the front bumper and having somebody over there watching to see how much we need to come up to make sure we're level. How are we looking there? Right there. Good. Now we're going to come over here and check and see how much difference we've got. Okay, we were at 40 and a quarter. Now we're at 41 and three quarter. So that tells us how much difference we, or how much we got to re arc the spring. Okay, we've got our base figured out where we have to go. We're going to raise the thing about an inch and a half. So now what we're going to do is we're going to raise the truck up until the springs are just starting to lift the tires. Which that looks like that's going to be right about there. Yeah, I guess I should have done that from the start. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put the frame supported on jack stands to hold the vehicle up while we take the tires and wheels off. Okay, we're good. Okay, now we've got it jacked up on this side here. Now we're going to take the U-bolts loose. Okay, that's one side. Now we're going to pull off the nuts off the leaf springs. Got it? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and pull these shocks out. Just to give us a little more clearance, I thought we could work around them. But they're just a little bit in the way. Okay, one of the things you want to make sure you make note of is when you pull your springs off, make sure which is the front and which is the back. 
and check your measurement across here and find out where your center pin is so we don't get reversed because some springs have the center pin offset one side or the other depending on the vehicle for the placement of the axle. Very important. This spring here, you're going to notice that our center pin is actually broken. These bottom springs were just laying in there. So the only thing holding those plate in place were the U-bolts. So we're going to get that replaced too. Another real quick way you can check this center pin is go to the center pin here, measure to the center of your hole, and we're about 23 and a half. And over this way to the rear, we're at 21 and a half. So that tells me that we're two inches off. Okay, well we got the springs pulled off, they're all ready to go, we got everything, all the measurements taken now, so it's off to the spring shop. We took the springs to Max Springs in Highland, California, which is about a 40 minute drive from my house, and they were able to get started on them right away. In the metal, I can feel it. He estimated it was going to take about an hour and a half to complete the job, so I went to Costco, did some shopping, and then went and had some lunch. By the time I got back, they were all finished. Well, we got the springs back from the spring shop, and they came out really nice. Got both new with center pins in them and had to put some rivets back in a couple of the uh, support pieces here. Uh, the rivets were broken, but other than that, they're ready to go. Okay, pull that jack stand out. Okay, we'll bring this down a little bit. Okay, I'll take this in. Push it, there we go. Good. Go over there, see that? Okay, we're going to have to get on that shot out there. Right there.
Okay, before you get them too tight, we want to make sure that the U-bolts the, the are in a proper place on the axles. In other words, as close to the spring as possible. So the inner one, you really can't do a whole lot because it's in that casting, but the outer one, make sure it's tucked under there as far as it'll go. So I'm using that, pushing it toward the center of the truck. So using your, your uh, alignment pin here, use the hammer and drive that closer at the bottom. Yes, at the bottom, underneath. Okay. Yeah, make sure that's over nice and tight. Yep, see how much that moved? Because that's important. It helps keep the leaves right where they're supposed to go. That's it. Okay. Okay, we've got everything in place now. Everything's just basically just snugged up. We're going to go back and tighten everything up and torque down the U-bolts. Okay, everything is all tightened up and torqued down. We're ready to get the tires back on it. We got it all back together. Everything's torqued down where it needs to be. So let's see how level it is now. And I'm saying that looks pretty darn good. Well, that's another project done. If you liked the video, please hit like down below and subscribe. And see you next time.